In this video, we're going to look at probabilities associated with standard normal distributions. The thing to notice that is, is that a standard normal distribution is a normal probability distribution because it's a probability distribution, the total area under the curve is 1. And of course, it's mound-shaped like uh, as in, in this picture. Secondly, a standard normal probability distribution has a mean of 0. See, there's the 0. And a standard deviation of 1. The uh, standard deviation occurs at one standard deviation above the mean, and that's where the where there's an inflection point in this curve. It's concave down, and then it's concave up after that. Along the way, I'll show you the uh, R code that is used to produce the particular graphs. We'll look at three probabilities. The probability that Z is less than a particular value, the probability that Z is greater than a particular value, and the probability that z is between two values. And we'll, use, we'll look at these specific cases, these specific examples. Okay, so here's the first example. The probability that z is less than a negative 1.75. So here's the graph. There's a negative 1.75 is right here. And we're looking for the probability that z is less than that particular amount. So we're looking for this blue area. R has a built-in function that does that. The p norm of any particular value tells the probability of getting that value or less in a standard normal probability distribution. So in this case, that probability is about 4%. Now, it's understanding that this P norm finds that area to the left of, of any particular value. There's the negative 1.75 on the z-axis, and the P norm of negative 1.75 finds that blue area. Okay, so what are we going to do when we need to find the probability that z is bigger than some particular value? Well, here we're looking at the probability that z is bigger than, notice it's 0 0.65. There's 0 0.65. It's a little more than, than half. It's a little more than halfway between 0 and 1. We want to find this green area. The problem is that R can find the pink area by just using the p norm of... Uh, 0.65, okay? So, R can find that pink area and the total area under the curve is 1. And so, therefore, the green area can be calculated by taking 1, the total area under the curve, minus the p norm of 0.65. So, it's the total area minus uh, the area that you don't want. That's uh, almost 26%, as you can see. The final problem is to look at the probability that z is between two values. Now, notice the two values that we're interested in, from a negative 2.5 up to 1.75. So there's a negative 1, negative 2.25, and there's the... 1.75 right there. We need to, we want to find that green area. The things that we can find real easily with R is this blue area because it would just be uh, the p norm of 1.75. We could also find this red area which is the p norm of negative 2.25. So if we subtract those two it'll give us the green area. You see that little red area is this little part over here. And if we subtracted that from the blue area, we'd be left with the green area. That's the whole idea. So there it is. We've looked at these three types of probability problems. The probability that z is less than some value. The probability that z is greater than some value. 
the probability that z is between two values. Okay, hope that helps.